everybody. Today I'm going to do my interview with my ex-boss. Hello, can Hello. you give uh, maybe an introduction of yourself, please? I'm uh, Dirk Fritz, 48 years old, chemical engineer, and I'm just coming back since one year from France, where I lived for 11 years as uh, an expatriate. Mm -hmm. um, first, I would like to ask you a question about your life there. Um, is um, a working knowledge of the national language necessary in there? I would say yes, but as a Belgian guy, going to France is quite easy. All yeah. the Belgian people are speaking French, so this was not the limit. But I would say to integrate among the people in a work environment and in a private environment, it's, uh, it's easy to do it that way. And could, could you maintain uh, your same lifestyle in France? Yes, yeah, France is not yeah. so many, so France is not so different from Belgium, so to keep up you have to adapt a little bit to the French habits, but this is quite easy. And what were those French habits, for example? For example, the working hours are a little bit different. They are used to take uh, large breaks at noon, but in the, on the other hand, they stay long at, uh, long at work in the evening. And how did you live there? Did you uh, live in a house? Or we moved with the family, we bought a house, and we lived for 11 years in France. So we were not exactly expatriates, but we really merged into the, the country and the culture. Okay. Um, now your working life, why did you decide to move to France for your work? Uh, and, um, today, when you want to make a career, I think it's important to live some time abroad. I was working for another company and we were, as a family, we agreed already that we would live some time abroad. And the opportunity came to go to France and we accepted it. It was more or less a, the hazard that we went to France than something else. Okay, and was there a different work ethic, like you said, with the longer working hours, or are there other differences when it comes Well, it's to quite work? easy to work in France, so it's not really a problem. Okay. Um, were there other facilities at your work, like was the food different, uh, not a food culture, or how did people have meetings in France? Uh, concerning the meetings, they don't respect the starting hour, so you have to find some clues, some, some things that this is respected. Uh, there is some quite a different culture in France than in Belgium. But you have, once the people accept you, it's quite easy, it's not so difficult. Uh, food habits, uh, everybody knows the French cuisine. It's not, uh, it's not a punishment to go and to live in France from that point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you experience your colleagues? Uh, very competent and open people, so dedicated to the company. We had very, very little turnover in the company. This was a very good atmosphere with a good uh, view on what the company is and what the future of the company should be. And did your job contain, contain the same um, content as your job here in Belgium? No, it was quite different. I changed from company, so I changed from sector. And in Belgium, I had an evolution from R&D to engineering to sales, and there was in the general management. Okay. Um, did you have trouble adapting in France? No, not really. You have to adapt to another, uh, not, let's say, not more than when you should change, or when you would change from one company to another in Belgium. Um, did you experience a culture shock? No, at all. No. So Perhaps a little bit from an administrative point of view. There are some differences, but nothing, okay. nothing really shocking. So there was nothing uh, obvious or shocking? No. Okay. Um, what was the most eye-opening experience from your expat life? That it's, uh, it's a very pleasant thing to do, because it brings you out of the routine. It obliges you to, uh, to see other people, to start over again, to start over in a new job, a new company, a new environment. Uh, the first year we felt almost tourists uh, uh, in the region. So we visited a lot of things, we do a lot of things. It's uh, refreshing your life to do it. And now that you're here back in Belgium, do you miss France? Uh, now and then, yes. Not exactly France, but after 11 years, you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of uh, 
colleagues, uh, so you, you have to start over again after 11 years. Do you, do you still keep in touch with your Yeah, friends? we still keep in touch. Okay. Um, so as a conclusion, would you do it again? We would certainly do it again. Um, and can you give me a few, one piece of advice uh, if I would want to go work abroad? Uh, if you want to go abroad, you have to merge into the culture, you have to learn language, and if, I would say avoid to become the standard expatriate who remains in this community of uh, people of the same culture, with the schools, the special schools, etc. I would just suggest really to merge into the into the country and to live together with the local people. This is really eye-opening, it's really changing your life. When you stay in a condominium, when you stay in a, a small group of expatriates, it's very different. Okay, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.